the Congregational Minister as successor of Mother Teresa O'Neill, continually keeps alive that which is at the heart of our Franciscan charism, namely conversion, contemplation, poverty, and minority. The Congregational Minister is responsible for encouraging the entire congregation and leading it in its mission. She will constantly seek from the triune God the wisdom and sound judgment, strength of will and firmness of character which the office demands. In the first ballot for Congregational Minister taken at St. Bonaventure University, St. Bonaventure, New York on August 4th, 2012, Patricia D. Reed received two votes, Margaret McGee received five votes, Kathleen Mayer received 50 votes, Margaret Mary Kimmins received 54 votes. We do not have an election, so we will have a second ballot. On the second ballot for the Office of Congregational Minister taken at St. Bonaventure University, St. Bonaventure, New York, on August 4th, 2012, Margaret McGee received one vote, Kathleen Mayer received 49 votes, Margaret Mary Kimmins received 61 votes and was elected. Mary, do you accept the election? I do. Congregational Minister in the exercise of her authority. If the office of Congregational Minister becomes vacant, or if she becomes per permanently unable to exercise her office, the Associate Minister assumes her duties until the next general chapter. Sisters, on the first ballot for the Associate Minister, held here at St. Bonaventure University. Kathy Mayer received one vote. Pat Reed received three votes. Pat Clem received 14 votes. Pat Shirley received 18 votes. And Margaret McGee received 75 votes. <laughs> Margaret McGee, will you accept this election? Humbly and with gratitude, yes.
on the first ballot for the Office of Congregational Counselor, the following votes were received. Goyana Nara Silva, one. Judith Terameo, two. Kathleen Mayer, three. Kathleen Euler, three. J. J. Miriam Natale, nine. Patricia Clem, 10. Odette Haddad, 26. Pat Reed, 38. For a total of 111 ballots, and we have no election. Let me repeat the numbers again. One for Goyanir, two for Judith Terameo, three for Sister Kathleen Euler, three for Kathleen Mayer, nine for J. Miriam, ten for Pat Clem, twenty, uh, no, um, ni nineteen for Pat Shirley. Sisters, in the second ballot for counselor, the following vo votes were received. Pat Clem, one. Judith Terameo, one. J. Miriam Natale, four. <coughs> Pat Shirley, 13. Odette Haddad, 29. Pat Reed, 63, we have an election. Yay. Patricia, do you accept this election? I do with all my heart. Thank you. The following vote, votes were received. Sister Judith Terraneo received one vote. Sister Goyanira Silva received one vote. Sister Bernadette Schuler received two votes. Sister Patricia Clem received eight votes. Sister J. Miriam Natale received 11 votes. Sister Pat Shirley received 20 votes. Sister Odette Haddad received 68 votes. <laughs> Oh, Daddy Elias, <laughs> do you accept this election? Thank you. I do. Sisters, there was one invalid ballot. And so that means that the number of voting um, votes received would be 110. Half of that would be 55. So it would be 56 for a valid election. Sister Bernadette Schuler received two votes. Sister Kathleen Euler received two votes. Sister J, excuse me, um, Judith Terameo received three votes. Sister Goyana De Silva received five votes. Sister Pat Clem received 18 votes. Sister J, Miriam Natale received 18 votes. Sister Pat Shirley received 62 votes. Oh, 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 oh. And we have an <laughs> Pat, will you accept this election? Joy and trepidation. I felt with joy and trepidation. <laughs> Do you 
Didn't even have to kneel.